In this movie, I want to use Flash CS4 in order to have a movie clip animate. And specifically, I'm just going to use a spinning disc that's constantly spinning, slide across the stage, and then go off stage in a separate layer. So I'm going to start off by creating a layer, and this will be called Disk Approach. And I'm in frame one of this new layer. And I'm going to draw, using my oval tool, a disk that's red. And so that we can see the spinning action, I'll use a line tool. And it currently is yellow. I'm going to change the properties so that it's a little bit of a thicker line. So using my line tool, I'll put some spokes, so to speak, for my disk. OK. Now since I know I'm going to be animating it, ultimately I'm going to want it to be a symbol. So I'll select it, press F8 to convert to a symbol, a movie clip. I'll call this spinning disk. And then I'll double click so I can focus in on that spinning disk. Now it's back to a merge shape, but that's OK. I'm now in my edit window for the spinning disk. I'm going to right click on frame 1 and create a motion tween. And I'm going to scale that down from 24 frames down to about 12 frames. I'm currently creating movie at 24 frames per second. On frame 1, using the properties panel, I'll set the rotation for two times going counterclockwise. So now, over this half second period, my disk will spin twice, and I can simply press enter to see that animation. That's my movie clip. Now I'm going to jump back over to scene one. And notice in my library, I've got symbol one, which is the, the motion, and I've got my spinning disk symbol. And I can play that and see it spin. Now my disk approach is going to be coming from the right to the left. So with my selection tool, I'm going to go ahead and position this to the right portion of my stage. I'll right click, create a motion tween. It's going to take two seconds. I'm sorry, it's going to take one second, 24 frames. And on frame 24, I'll move the disk over to the left side. That's the motion path. And if I press enter, the ball just slides across. If I press control enter, I can see the spinning action as it slides across. Then I'm going to create a new layer. Disk leaves. On frame 24, I'm going to make that a keyframe, pressing F6. And I want that same object. So I'm going to take the spinning disk from my library and drag it where the previous spinning disk was. I'm going to right click, create a motion tween, and I'm going to drag this out to about frame 48. On frame 48, I want this disk to be off stage. And with my selection tool still active, I'll add a little bit of an arc to its motion path. So if I just press my enter key, ball approaches and then flies away. If I press control enter, Spinning ball approaches, spinning ball flies away.